Since 2001, the World Economic Forum's Networked Readiness Index has assessed the ability of countries worldwide to make the best use of information and communication technologies. This assessment is based on the performance in four main areas. The environment component measures the quality of the regulatory and business environment. Readiness measures affordability, the quality of digital infrastructure and a population's preparedness to use technology. Usage measures the levels of technological diffusion among individuals, businesses and the government. And impacts measures information and communication technologies, social and economic impacts. In the 2015 edition, Singapore replaces Finland at the top of the ranking. Not surprisingly, high-income economies continue to dominate, taking the top places, with performance of countries largely mirroring their position on the development ladder. Sub-Saharan Africa still faces serious challenges, with all but one country appearing in the bottom half of the table, the only exception being Mauritius at 45th. The index also highlights a number of success stories in the Gulf region and Central America. And in the Caucasus, Armenia is the country that made the most progress since 2012. The performance of the three Baltic countries is particularly remarkable, with Estonia preceding Belgium and Ireland, amongst others. The impact of information and communication technologies goes far beyond productivity gains. They are catalysts of economic and social transformation. They enhance connectivity, kickstart business, create employment opportunities, and change the ways in which people communicate and interact. Yet it is only through widespread usage of information and communication technologies that real change can be made. Information and communication technologies are not as accessible or as fast-spreading as many believe, with some 60% of the global population still not online and some 450 million people out of reach of a mobile network. So, how can we provide universal, affordable and fast access to bridge the digital divide? Policymakers and their partners must adopt a long-term perspective to address these challenges. This requires smart, long-term investments in digital infrastructure and education, as well as sound regulations that encourage competition, innovation and private investment. Information and communication technologies hold the potential to transform our lives. Let's turn this potential into a reality.